I'm in the uh, Kumi Museum in uh, Southwark with uh, Sarah and Eva, um, who over the last four years have brought together fantastic exhibition all about the objects in people's homes, which has been a great way of starting some conversations, I think. Tell me more about that, Sarah. Um, okay, so this project started with Home From Home, which you can see around us, um, which is actually a collection of well, portrait photographs and stories from the Elephant and Castle. Ava had been working in Elephant and Castle for a couple of years. She asked me to come along and, and kind of collect some of the, and kind of um, write up some of the conversations that she'd been having. So that was a sort of process of photography, of self-representation and of conversation. Because that exhibition is now in the Cuming Museum, we were very interested in um, connecting it with the idea of a museum, of objects. Um, this, this museum started because of um, a local family's collection um, and they lived in, in their ho homes with these objects. So what we've been doing is talking to people about the objects that are important to them and the objects that, that kind of form a sense of home for them. And we've really found that having that kind of tangible object um, has been a, an amazing way to kind of unlock stories about family, about identity, about home, about travel. Um, and that, yeah, that's been a real joy. Yeah, so um, individuals from the area donated, temporarily donated some of the objects that for them represent either home in personal or more local sense. So you could see um, there's a cigarette box that somebody found when he bought a house uh, and it fell out of the chimney and it's got annotations on it. So it's a bit of a kind of history of the family that lived there before. The apple is a local resident. Um, she was given this as a, as a kind of present when she was four years old because uh, she used to play with it in somebody else's home and has been carrying it around since, ever since. Uh, so it's different things. This chain is a very interesting one. Somebody found it in Regent's Park and uh, 10 years ago. And it, it had different uses. It was a toy, it was an object, it was a, a link to her past and to all the stories. Um, and so on and so on, yeah. And uh, what have we got on the floor here? And on the floor is a uh, remains of, of what happened yesterday. So it's like um, the event was there and now what's left from the conversations that were had. Basically we had our, on our closing celebratory event, we had a local artist, Shane Waltner, who works a lot with um, weaving. So he was weaving a sort of garland up here, suspended in air and was inviting people who came to append their own parts of conversation. So write them on a piece of paper and just um, append it up there. And at the end of the event, he cut it down and it's kind of there. So it's a nice, again, story that's grounded in the past, but uh, some object that remains is still here and you can narrate from it. So just finally, is this, do you think led to some new connections, some um, further friendships in the area? I think definitely, actually. In a way, it's been nice because we've reconnected with people who we connected with through other projects. Ava also did a fantastic um, project called Studio at the Elephant where with another artist called Rebecca, and they had a studio in the shopping centre for three months, so that, again, fed into this project. Um, yeah, and I think it's kind of an ongoing process connection, and also between the museum and other organisations, so schools that haven't been to the museum before have kind of connected with this space as well, which is great. And do you know what you're going to be doing next? Not really. <laughs> <laughs> Watch this space. <laughs>